Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this M17 gas mask from Bell's Aviation. Bell's Aviation sells anything and everything um, as far as like aviation equipment like uh, SPH series helmet parts or APH series helmet parts. Just about anything that you can think of. And some of their selection is field gear and gas masks. Um, this one, so I've been buying from Bells since 2013, so close to 10 years now. And I've always seen this mask listed. I've never seen it out of stock, and I've never seen it um, price change or anything. It's always been listed as $35, and their only one picture was an M17 with a head harness, no filters, with a hood stuffed in the inside the mask, and a carrier and then a something stuffed in the inside of the back pocket of the carrier and all the description said was uh, m17 field protective mask filters and carrier um, and that's it i do remember i called them one time about this mask and basically all the lady told me was pretty much what you see is what you get and in the listing <clears throat> but the listing, and I didn't uh, bring this up to her because at the time I wasn't this serious about buying it. Um, but the description and what it shows in the picture are kind of contradicting. So don't entirely know what I'm going to get. I think it is going to be an M17. I don't think it's going to be the A1 or the A2. Um, I don't know if there's going to be filters or anything in this. But I'm kind of back on the hunt for M17 series masks, um, especially since the price of them has seemed to have gone up. Um, but in case it's missing anything, I bought this accessories pack on eBay. Um, so this kit comes with the new head harness, the filter intakes, which these are very important to have. A new set of filters, contracted in 77, manufactured in September of 80. And the M6A2 chemical protection hood, contracted in 1981. From a different seller, I found a whole bunch of these old um, gas mask waterproof bags. Um, what makes these ones so special is that these are the original ones with the metal wire. Um, to close the, uh, not the main bag, but just the little pouch that it comes in. Um, these ones were Vietnam era only, so if you ever come across one, you know for sure that it's Vietnam dated. And I got four of them. So without further ado, let's open this up and see what we get. I think it will have the hood. Um, I don't think it's going to have the outserts. That's another item that I didn't buy. I think if it does have filters, they'll be opened, or it may even be opened M10 filters. Get the invoice out of there. Okay. Sorry, this is a little difficult with one hand. So. U.S. Mask Protective Field M17, size medium. The waist strap. The thigh strap. Alright, let's see. So first, the M13 decontamination and reimpregnation kit from December of 1968. I don't think I've ever done a video of one of these things before. Um, I do have, I think, a couple laying around somewhere. I'll try and open this with one hand. But basically on the inside there should be two pouches and a disposable razor blade. So, and there's the razor blade, and then the hand pouch, and then there's the two other pouches. I'll do a separate video, um with this someday but this is the correct carrier because it has the 
wider back that will actually that this will actually fit into. Um, the early M17 carriers have a smaller back pocket here that uh, the M13A1 kits will not fit into. Overall, the back seems like it's in really great shape. A little oxidization. Looks like all the straps are there and buckles are present. Okay. Nothing else in there. So this is the one pictured, it's a 1965 MSA, so it's not a Firestone or um, I forget the other company that made them. M13A2 hood, it would have been nice if it was an M6, but I really didn't think that it would be. No filters, so not like the description said. Uh, doesn't look like any stress cracks, so installing filters on this thing won't be a problem. It does need a good cleaning. It's size medium, so that's good. Um, I don't fit a small or an extra small. Uh, the date matches up with the exhale valve. Everything looks ship shape, guys. Um, the original head harness still has elasticity to it. I really don't think I need to replace that. Let's see if it has the XL valve. I bet it does. Oh, yeah, it does. So, guys, there you have it. There's my unboxing of the M17. Uh, no A1, no A2. So now I have two extra hoods. Um, these ones, at the beginning of their time, were not intended to have a hood, and then they came out with the M6 hood um, before they actually came out with the M17A1. And there are training videos that you can find of soldiers wearing the M17 with the M6 hood. Um, and then, so it looks like the filters will come in handy, and the disc valves. These are the hardest items to find, these little discs. Um, I don't know why, they just are. And waterproofing bag will come in handy. So the listing was for $35 and $15 shipping. So just about $50, $51 uh, after tax and everything. Um, and also the M13 kit, which these aren't super rare, um, and they're not necessarily super val valuable either. I would say $25 on a good day. Um, but it is cool that it came with the correct uh, kit. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Um... I'm pleased with it. The only thing left to buy is just the uh, eye outserts. Um, but yeah, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, have a nice day.